What's going on guys, it's Justin here, back with our Project Jeep Wrangler. And in this video, we're gonna brighten up your day with some lighting upgrades. But before we enlighten you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. For those of you just joining us, we upgraded our stock Jeep Wrangler with some strategic upgrades to not only make it stand out, but give it more off-road capability. And that includes our initial set of aftermarket headlights, taillights, and auxiliary lights. But today, we're gonna add to our lighting arsenal with a set of KC Highlight Flex Era 3 combo lights, Morimoto XB LED fog lights, and Oracle Flush Mount LED tail lights. Our KC Highlight Flex Era 3 dual mode combo lights can tackle multiple jobs at once. These are vehicle specific light kits that give you everything you need to get them all mounted up and installed. You can choose between clear pre-mounted lenses for clearer vision on foggy mornings, or you can use the included yellow selective lenses for greater visibility in heavy rain, fog, snow, and dust. They really come in handy when we're out exploring back roads and off-road, these combo light patterns leave nothing unlit, giving us the best of both worlds between a spot and a fog light. Then we have a set of Morimoto XB LED fog lights to replace our factory units in our AEV bumper. These will be a major improvement over the factory lights and come in handy when commuting on foggy mornings or out in the woods as well. These kits are designed for plug and play installation with vehicles factory equipped with fog lights. So let's get to work in getting these new lights installed. Now removal out of a stock bumper is pretty easy, but we have this AEV bumper already on our Jeep, so our light removal is a little different. We had to pull our cover off, a couple screws out of the back, and loosen up the bracket and swing it out of the way. But with that done, we're able to remove our light from the housing. It should come right out. So what we're actually replacing is the light itself. We're gonna reuse the factory back bracket. So we're gonna go ahead, get our bulb removed, and get our new one on. So to remove the light from the stock housing, I simply like to take a 10 millimeter wrench, push it down over the tabs, and then that releases the light holder. So we'll do it to this side now, pop it over the tabs. And you can push the collar through. Same deal, push it over the tabs, able to pop that through, and it comes right out. With all our tabs locked in, our light's now ready to reinstall. So now that we have our new light installed on our factory backing plate, we can go ahead and start reinstalling. Now, I went ahead and threw some green painter's tape on the front of the lens so I didn't scratch it when I'm messing around with it in here. So just a little peace of mind to keep our light nice. So before I throw the bezel on, we're gonna go ahead and peel the tape off. And I already started. With all the tape removed, now we can go ahead and throw our bezel back on. The fog light install on this side is all done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and knock the other side out. So we finished up our fog light install and moved to the back of the Jeep to knock out our tail lights before we go ahead and install our ditch lights. Now the tail light installs on these are super easy and we've installed a set in the past, but we're going to a different style. These are similar to the factory style and are still pretty large and we're able to catch them on obstacles. So we're gonna be switching to these Oracle low profile tail lights. Now, what we like about these is that they're a lot smaller and low profile, which will help us not catch them on obstacles, making it less likely for us to bust out a taillight. Now they have this cool wraparound design and also an integrated backup light. These install super easy, let's get to it. Move our hardware and then our taillight will pop right out. Now, since these taillights are LED and we want them to cooperate with the Jeep's light system, we're gonna go ahead and install these resistors. Now, I threw a little sticky tape on the back. I'm just gonna peel that off. I've gone ahead and wiped this down already. I'm just gonna stick it right here. 
So with that mounted, you can plug that back in, get our taillight plugged in and reinstalled. So I went ahead and removed this from the old taillight and we're gonna attach it to our new taillight so we can get them mounted up. They even provided hardware to do it. So we're gonna throw it on there, grab a couple of our screws. Now with all three screws installed, that's securely mounted and we can get our taillight in place. Go ahead, put the taillight in, plug our, and slide our taillight into place. We got our bolt all tight, make sure our light's secure, and go ahead and pop the cover back on. And our driver side taillight install is all done. Just look at how low profile these things are and we're gonna be way less likely to catch these on an obstacle. I also like how they have the integrated backup light and the wraparound design. Now the passenger side is gonna install the same way, so we're gonna knock that out right now. So with our taillights finished up, now we're ready to install our ditch lights. And KC has some cool brackets to mount them. So this will install just like this. But before we do that, we need to run a little bit of wiring. So I'm gonna pull off both of these side panels, the one on the driver and passenger side, run my wiring under the cowl. The wiring should come out somewhere around the battery here. We'll get all that attached. And then once we get these back on, we'll get our light brackets on and our lights mounted and hooked up. So let's get to it. We've gone ahead and got our wiring ran under the cowl and I got that side all put back together and ready for our light bracket. So to make our install look a little cleaner, I'm gonna hide the plugs under the cowl before we put the cover on. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug these things in. My wire is gonna run approximately about right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this light out of the way and get this cover reinstalled. So hold that plug out of the way. Pins lined up on the bottom and this thing's in place. Now I'm only gonna install three of the four bolts right now because this bolt will get replaced when we put our light bracket on. With that done, we can go ahead and pull this bolt out here and get our bracket mounted. So with that bolt removed, I'm gonna go ahead and start installing these. Put our spacer down first. With our bracket nice and secure, we can go ahead and get our light thrown on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these snugged up for now, and then once we get them all hooked up, we can go ahead, turn them on, and get them adjusted. I'm gonna go finish up the other side and get its bracket bolted on. Not only does this thing look better, but we can see better too. Morimoto KC Highlight and Oracle really changed the look of our Jeep. And I can't wait to test these lights out, going down the road or hitting the trail. So until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing and thanks for watching.